We're not living here because we're lazy or dirty or uneducated. We live here because we have children and the income that we have is not enough sometimes. That is Erica Perez, a resident of the Gadsden Green neighborhood, a property owned by the Charleston Housing Authority. She's only one of the residents that tell Live 5 their living conditions are unsafe and unacceptable. Our Molly McBride toured several of those units for herself and tells us what she found and what the residents are saying. You're looking at holes where families say rats tore through the walls. They say they're now keeping their food in tubs to prevent rats from eating it before they do. If you can see the, 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 the fecal matter and stuff, I have to sweep up on a daily. I have children with asthma. There are rats coming in and out. Here's a look at what residents say is black mold on their ceilings and in their vents. It's not like we're asking for anything out of the ordinary. We're asking for general up, up to date maintenance. Here's a hole where one woman says the ceiling collapsed on her from a leaking pipe. She would not talk on camera out of fear of retribution, but says her living conditions are so hazardous that her children are not allowed to be unsupervised in their own home. This is America. You know, people are, can say anything they want to say here, and uh, we are not going to penalize anybody for, because they disagree with us. That's Arthur Milligan, the president and CEO of the Charleston Housing Authority. He says they're aware some of the units need to be worked on and are in the process of implementing the rental assistance demonstration program that will allow them to go in and do some major work. But again, this, it goes along with a building that's 83 years old and, and has not had any major rehab in that period of time. So um, we understand that the residents here are having some hard times and we continue to try to do what we can to make sure that they're taken care of. In the meantime, residents tell me they hope people can understand that there are many different reasons why someone could live in public housing and that public housing is meant to be a jumping off point. Because we are living in public housing doesn't mean that we're uneducated, that we are ignorant. You know, I have three degrees. My daughter has two degrees. You know, there are other people around here that work every day. Reporting for Live 5 News, I'm Molly McBride.